Hi, um, this is Preston Moy with Pack Room Video and Front Row Features, here with the legendary, the most creative person on TV, <laughs> Mia Michaels. Wow, thank you. That's, all, that's quite an opening. Thank How you. does it feel to have an entire episode of So You Think? I'm honored. It feels amazing. Um, I've been doing this for, I've been choreographing since I was a little girl, and so having these kind of moments where you actually feel like people just embrace your work so much, it's, you can't ask for anything more. As an artist, you can't ask for anything more than when America just like puts their arms around you and says, I love you and I love your work. Awesome. Well, that definitely happened with those Emmy Awards. That it's been such an awesome ride for you. Yeah. Um, how personal is the work that you create? Very personal. It all comes from moments in my life and from um, experiences or things that spark something inside of me or a picture or a photograph. Or I'm just very aware of inspiration at all times at, around me because I feel like as a human, we have inspiration around us 24-7, but we get so caught up in the grind of life that we tend to not see it. And so I'm always trying to like unveil and be like, okay, there's inspiration everywhere. So that's kind of what, how I tap into it. That's cool. And um, you talk a lot about being you and being yourself and really embracing the changes in your life. Um, through the journey of So You Think You Can Dance and the choreography you've put on, has there been um, a lot of changing you've had to do with your choreography from season one till, till now? Absolutely. I mean, every dance is a living, breathing art form. And um, as a choreographer, I mean, I, you know, as you get older too, it's like I can't dance anymore. I have so my body's so broken from years and years and years of, of just throwing myself around, um, that I have to direct movement now. I direct, and I I feel like I paint pictures with human bodies, and I tell stories through the human body. So it definitely changes my the complexity of my work changed a lot from when I left New York to come to Los Angeles. Um, it was way more about the vocabulary and more about the complexity of the movement. Um, and then So You Think You Can Dance is the reason I started telling stories. I did not even know I was a storyteller until I was on that show. That's crazy. I had no idea. Yeah, crazy. I was like this artsy, dreadlocked like girl in New York City just with a dance company, you know, raw, and right? raw. Yeah. yeah. And then I went on to do the Madonna and Celine Dion show in Vegas and um, that sparked so you think, and then being on So You Think is what all of a sudden I'm like a storyteller. I'm, I'm like, where did that come from? And so now I'm the next phase of my career I want to direct. I want to direct musicals, actually. That's my cool. next phase for sure. That's awesome. Do you find it really different, all the choreographing for artists and then having to choreograph just for two dancers on oh, stage? Oh, yeah. Everything is different from a duet to a group number to Tom Cruise to a film to a commercial. You know, everything is different. Everything has its own shade and color and, and need. So, you know, what you feel like um, you need to say or the artist needs to say or the world you want to create or what the show needs, you know, it, it all. It's Do you big... prefer one over the other? No. I definitely, um, I don't like doing straight up commercial work. I like to take commercial work and push it to mm. more of a, an artistic place, even if it, I just like, I, I feel like I've learned how to commercialize art, um, which is a great thing. I feel like that I sit in the middle. I'm not such an artist where the, the real world is like, what is she saying? What is she doing? And I'm not so commercial that I'm not a true artist. So I have found a way to keep the integrity as an artist, but still sell it to the masses. And I think we that's- We definitely see that on the show. Are there any, surprises we should expect from the dancers this week? That you're going to fall in love with all of them. Amazing. Even more, because <laughs> they're kind of all brilliant. And the group number I'm really excited about. It possibly, I, I hate to say it, but it has the potential to possibly be one of my best, maybe. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think. I'm like, I might be saying it, but I absolutely am obsessed with it. So. Well, we're very excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mia Michaels, everyone. Thank you.